guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're going to be making some cam clamps. Well, there a while ago when we were going through that 12-part ukulele building series, uh, when it came to attaching the bridge to the soundboard, I really wish that I had some uh, deeper F clamps. And you don't need a lot of pressure. And I started thinking that maybe some of these cam clamps would help. So what we're going to do is uh, make some shop versions of that today, utilizing, again, some more scrap material. So let's head over to the bench and we'll start laying this out. Because, of course, I think I'm going to be making more as time goes on. So I'm going to be making templates for these. Well, I've already started laying out templates for these, and I'm going to get into marking these out in just a minute. But the way it's going to work is that we're going to be using quarter-inch stock, and I'm going to be using maple. And what it's going to consist of on the bottom uh, stationary arm of the clamp, it's going to consist of three quarter-inch pieces of maple that will get laminated together just like such. And the, the upright bar that's going to come out of that will actually be another piece of quarter inch maple. With the top um, arm of the clamp, which will have the cam lever in it, the two outside pieces will be made of quarter inch stock. But the center piece, in order to give us flexibility and be able to move that arm up and down along the, the bar, um, it's going to be a little thicker, so maybe uh, like a sixteenth thicker uh, just to allow it to slide along the bar. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> I'm, we're going to start off by ripping some quarter inch stock. It's going to be a quarter inch thick and it's going to be one and a quarter inches in width. I have all my quarter inch thick stock by inch and a quarter pieces cut and uh, it's all been cut out of scrap maple that was left over from actually building the bench. So these are for the um, outer edges of the top clamp with the, with the cam in it as well as the three laminate pieces that will go for the fixed uh, arm of the clamp. But what I've got here is a piece that's 930 seconds thick, so just slightly thicker than the quarter inch. And I'm going to need, uh, I'm making four clamps, so I have a lot more stock here than what you'll need if you're just going to be making one. But I need to cut off a piece of this for our center divider uh, of the arm with the cam in it. And we're going to cut that off at four and three quarters. Well, we've got our centerpiece, and I've marked it with a C so we don't get confused. But we now want to place a mark at three and one quarter from the end. We'll just put a little mark right there at three and a quarter. You can see it there. And as well, we want to mark three quarters of an inch all the way along our piece. So We'll just place that mark there. And now this part isn't rocket science. You can use a roll of tape like what I'm using or French curves if you have them. But you just want to join that up to give yourself a curve just like that. And we're going to cut this piece out. And what that's going to end up being is the area where our cam is going to sit on our center piece. So let's cut that out and then we can move on. I just used the scroll saw to cut this little indentation out and this is what you should have left. You now want to take some of your quarter inch stock and you want to cut it to a length of six and a quarter and we're going to sandwich those pieces that are six and a quarter inches long. We're just going to sandwich it like this. So six and a quarter inches and then uh, we'll glue this together. Well we're going to apply some glue to both sides of our centerpiece 
and we're going to place it in between two of our cut pieces here. Use a square on the end to line it up to make sure all the pieces are lined up. I've got a piece of MDF underneath just to give a nice flat surface to make sure everything aligns. And once you get that all glued together, clamp it up and set this assembly aside and we will move on to some of the other pieces that we need to cut. Well, you've got that assembly clamped up and you just want to put that aside and like I said we're going to move on to some other parts while we're waiting for that to dry up and what you're going to need to do is make the bar and the bar we're going to make it out of wood um, and it's going to be quarter of an inch thick it's going to be one inch wide and 12 inches long so you're going to need one of these for each clamp that you're making. So once you get that cut, you can put that aside and we're gonna go ahead and make the stationary arm of the clamp. And for that, you're gonna need for each clamp, one piece that's going to be inch and a quarter by a uh, quarter inch thick by four and three quarter inches long. And then you're gonna need two pieces that's a quarter inch thick by inch and a quarter wide by six and a quarter long. So let's cut those and uh, then we'll glue those together. Now just like you did with the other arms, um, you're going to take one of the four and three quarter inch long pieces and sandwich it in between two of the six and a quarter inch pieces and glue that up. Um, you don't need another video of me applying glue, so I'm going to glue mine up and then once we get this done and it's dried, um, we'll carry on with the build. Well, here we have one of our um, cam arms that we glued up and what we want to do is take some off cuts of that same 9 32nd of an inch thick um, center material and you want to place one of your arms now or your bars um, that is the one inch wide piece you want to place that in the middle there just like that and then take one of these pieces and glue it in tight to that bar now you don't want to jam it in so far that this bar isn't going to move but the object is that you want to glue this piece in, clamp it tight, and then remove your bar so that it doesn't get glued in place and let that set up. You should end up with something that looks like this and your bar should be able to slide in and out of this section quite freely. Don't worry about this bit of an overhang here. We're going to trim that off once this dries up. So. Let this set up now, and uh, while we're waiting, we'll move on to the next step. You've got your stationary arm now is all glued up. The glue is dry, I've got rid of the squeeze out. 
And we're just going to use a piece of sandpaper mounted to a piece of MDF and just clean up our edges to make sure that everything is nice and square. Now we need to decide the size of the pad that we want on the end of this that will apply the pressure. And I'd like a one inch pad. So I've measured in one inch and placed a mark. I've also measured down from the top five eighths of an inch. And then I've measured over four and three eighths. So this will leave this gap here at three and three eighths. I'm now gonna take a circle template and with a radius from a circle that's an inch and a quarter, I'm just going to round off this inside recess here just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing here instead of square edges. And it looks just like that. And I'm going to take this over to the scroll saw now and cut that recess out. And there's our piece cut out. I cut this with a number seven reverse tooth scroll saw blade, and then I gave it a little sanding. I rounded this off with the belt sander just to make it a little more pleasing. And this is essentially the stationary um, lower arm completed. So the only thing left to do here at this point is to take the um, bar and place it into, into the slot here, glue it in place, and with one of your offcuts, glue that in place, seal it right in there, clamp it up, and then let it dry. Once that dries up, of course, you can take this over to the table saw and cut off this excess that's hanging out. But once that is done um, and dried and, you know, a little bit of a sanding, that is that part of the assembly of the clamp completed. So I'm gonna clamp this up and put it aside and then we can move on to completing the top arm with the cam lever. Well, one thing I will point out here is that if you've done all of your cuts properly and you sandwich this bar in, you shouldn't have a problem, but you should check it for square just to make sure that it is actually square to your clamp. That way your pad up here is pressing squarely on your stock uh, once you go to clamp it down. While we're waiting for those bars to dry up in the stationary uh, arm, we've got our cam arm here and I'm just going to take it over to the table saw and take off this end just to um, even out this one end so we don't have this piece here protruding. Now that the end is cut flush, uh, we've given this a sanding just to level out all the uneven glue surfaces. And we need to make the same kind of recess in this top adjustable jaw as what we did on the stationary one. The difference is, is it's not going to be as deep in the stationary jaw, we went 5 eighths of an inch deep. This one, we're only going to go a quarter inch. So we're going to come in one inch to create our pad, draw a line a quarter of an inch up, and then of course, a line all the way over to here at four and three eighths. And once we get that done, we're going to use a circle template just like we did on the other one. We're looking for a half inch diameter circle and we will put that radius here uh, just to finish off this jaw and as well um, as well as cutting out this recess we will also round the top corner just as we did on the lower jaw. The next step now that we have our recess cut and the end rounded off is we're going to mark a line from this edge here up three quarters of an inch and that will extend from the end of the clamp here all the way in until this point which is at four and one quarter inches from this end. At this point we're going to drill a one eighth inch diameter hole and with the scroll saw we're going to cut 
right into that line all the way along up until that hole. And if you've done it correctly, you should have something that looks just like this. Just make sure that you're cutting the groove on the right side and that your recess for your cam is still on the top of the clamp. So now it's time to make the cam and it's probably um, one of the hardest things for me to explain in this video, but I'll do my best. Well, here is my layout of the cam and this is probably where I'm gonna lose most of you, but I'm gonna try my best to explain it. The the cam is made out of quarter inch material and the length of it from this point to the end is two and seven eighths. The height of it from this point to the bottom here is 13 sixteenths of an inch. If you measure in from this edge to this point right here, that is 15 sixteenths. This little tail here is 1 16th of an inch high. And from there, you can just join those two lines and that will give you the slope of the cam. As well, what you need to do is right at the bottom here, put a radius from a 9 16th circle and then you want to measure up half an inch and then join this point to your top line with a 7 eighths um, circle, an arc from a 7 eighths circle. The hole that's drilled here is going to be a 3 sixteenths of an inch hole and that hole there will be from this end in 17 30 seconds in and um, I'm going to have to measure what it is up this way because I can't recall. Just give me one second. Let me take that measurement for you. And that measurement from here up would be 7 sixteenths. Now, I know that these seem really specific. Um, I'm just trying to give you the measurements that I have for these. Um, you can play around with it and try different cams. It doesn't take much to make one up and slight variations or, or uh, deviations from it are really not going to make that much of a difference. Um, so I'm going to cut this one out and use it as a template and uh, you might want to do the same once you find a cam that you really like. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and then uh, we'll show you what the next step is. The cams are all cut and we're ready to install them, but before we can do that, we have one more modification to make to this top arm. And what it is, is that we need to cut a recess in here because when these levers fit in here, there's no way to grab a hold of them to lift them forward to lock your clamp. So what we're going to do here is two and seven eighths of an inch back from here, we're going to mark a seven eighths of an inch um, arc in here. It'll be uh, a semicircle. And uh, from there, we will uh, cut it out on the scroll saw and that will give us that little finger hole to grab a hold of the cam to flip that over while we're using the clamp. And there's that recess which allows you to grab a hold of that cam and of course pull it up to lock your clamp in. Well now it's time to uh, mount these cams and in a nutshell uh, what you want to do is place your cam so that it lines up, the flat section there lines up with your kerf and mark your 3 16 hole. And from there we're going to drill a 3 16 inch through hole right through the hole assembly and uh, drive a 3 16 dowel through to hold this in place. So just to reiterate here what I've done, uh, I lined up 
the cam where I wanted it and the bottom of it should line, like I said, along that groove. I just sat it in place. I placed a piece of this scrap stock, this thicker 932nd stock in between these front arms. And then I basically drilled right through this cam lever. And then if you take some 332nd dowel, this is stuff that I made uh, on the jig, and you just feed it through here. Once you line it up, there you go. Now I'm gonna glue this in on the outer edges. You wanna make sure that you don't glue the cam. And then you can see here that once this is set up on the bar and you raise the cam, you see that spread there and give you that clamping action. So I'm gonna finish these up and then I'm gonna come back and show you the whole assembly here and how well this really works. Sorry, one thing I forgot to mention, got ahead of myself there, but uh, don't forget to cut this excess off of your um, stationary arm on your clamp. And with all of the cams glued in, we now have a completed clamp. And all you need to do is slide your cam section down onto your bar, which meets up with your stationary uh, lower arm. and We'll just pretend that these are the two pieces that we're clamping. So they would basically sit between here. You lower your upper arm in order to meet up with the workpiece and then just raise your cam. And I'm telling you, that is, although I can turn it, it's not a high pressure clamp. You gotta remember that. That is clamped in there just beautifully. And uh, if I would have had that during the ukulele build, it would have gone a long way to helping me um, clamp down the bridge. And that is, is pretty secure. I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Uh, I made four of them and um, they turned out great. And there you have it. Cam clamps. Um, like I said, I made four and uh, I'm probably going to end up making more down the road. Um, one out of four, for some strange reason, the uh, adjustable arm didn't want to slide onto this particular um, um, bar. And so that was absolutely nothing that a couple passes with a card scraper didn't um, fix. And now it slides just beautifully, as you can see. Um, they all have a great cam action. They all lock nice and solid. Now, like I said, I made templates for these. Therefore, I only had to do the ridiculous measuring once. And then from there, I was able to trace all the parts in order to make uh, subsequent clamps. Now, I'm just debating now whether if I were to photocopy my uh, templates and increase the size, um, you know, instead of doing them at 100%, which would give me this size clamp, if I could boost it up and maybe do it at, oh, I don't know, 150, I would end up with a clamp one and a half times this size. And uh, that may become useful in the shop as well. Something to keep in mind is this bar. I made it 12 inches long, it doesn't have to be. If you want it to be shorter, make it shorter. If you want it to be longer, make it longer. It's up to you. It is your clamp. Um, as far as the cam, I apologize for the silly measurements on that, and, uh, but it was the best way I could give to explain it. Um, experiment. I mean, that's not the only way to make it by any means and uh, play around with it. Do some prototype cams, put them in there temporarily, adjust it, play with it, or if my measurements worked for you, then by all means do that. Um, one thing to be cautious of, remember these are wooden clamps, so if you are gluing an area of wood and you have squeeze out, it will glue your clamp to your project. So just be careful of that, be aware of it, and have some fun with it. Guys, you gotta give this a try. I hope you've enjoyed this week's show. I want to thank you for joining me again this week. And I'm going to see you again next week with yet another woodworking video. See you later, guys.